Hey, yeah. Seth, let me ask you this. Is there a chance that people are sleeping on Jimmer Fredette to the point mm -hmm. that he turns into a star in the NBA? I think it's better to say that nobody's sleeping on Jimmer for dead. I think he's, <laughs> being a star. He, he, he's certainly not Could he be under, a star in the NBA? at this point. I think he'll be a solid NBA player. I think he'll be a starter. Uh, I, I frankly don't understand sometimes these NBA teams who just draft guys who basically all do the same thing, and they all need the basketball. So I think maybe Sacramento's big secret is they're going to play with two or three basketball <laughs> Marcus Thornton and Tyreek Evans and Jimmer Fredette. I mean, if you cousins. want Jimmer Fredette, Cousins needs right. the basketball. I mean, right. if you want Jimmer Fredette to be effective, he has to have the ball in his hands. He's not going to come curl off a screen like a J.J. Redick. That's not his game. I think he's an NBA point guard. I think he's an NBA level point guard. He has the skill set. He has the experience. He has the mindset, but he, he's not quite there yet. So he needs the reps at the NBA level, and I, I'm not sure how he's going to get that in Sacramento. So it is kind of a weird pick, I think. They're going to have to play. They're going to have to be really creative about the, the groups they put on the floor at one time. Because I could see Tyreek Evans and Jimmer playing together. You can post Tyreek Evans. I could see that Tyreek maybe drawing a double team and kicking it out for, for threes. Or maybe Cousins. I, I don't know how all three of them play together. And you would think that they're all three going to have to play together at certain points, especially in crunch time. So that's where I think Paul Westphal is going to have to be really creative. And he's a very smart offensive guy. Yes. He's going to have to come up with some sets and some, some real interesting lineups where they can get the ball to Jimmer, where he can create for other people, but also not have him dominate the ball because, as you mentioned, Evans and Cousins both need it. And, and creative on the defensive end. Yeah. Yeah, I came in yeah. playing point guard, but, you know, the hardest part for me was chasing all those little point guards. And Tyreek Evans has to change these point guards. And we all know there's a lot of quick point guards. And then you have Jimmer Fredette. If he's playing, if Tyree's chasing the point guards, then he has to guard the big twos. Mm -hmm. Defensively, I think it's going to be strange for him. Offensively, they might can figure it out a little bit mm -hmm. easier. But then also, each of these young guys, you got to get a veteran in there to yeah. understand this, yeah. play the game the yeah. right way, because it can't be a black hole for a Jimmer Fredette, mm -hmm. for Tyreek Evans, for DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> Everybody needs the basketball. So, Paul Westfall, I can't wait to see how you get all this together. <laughs> paycheck. <laughs> I'm that paycheck. Paul Westfall is a terrific coach. And he he's is. at home going, bring all this talent to me, baby. We need more wins in Sacramento. And Jimmer perhaps could combine with Kevin Johnson to save the Kings in Sacramento. Stay tuned for that.